Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to 100 Days, a game of choice, nostalgia, and winemaking, or at least the very demo of the game. Now, this is basically a winemaking simulator kind of game, where it's a combination of like builder simulator over what I assume is 100 Days, like a city builder mixed with winemaking simulator in, ooh, Piedmont, Italy. Ooh, we're in the wine region. Ripeness 55%. Tippling, weeding, crop thing. Harvest. Uh, I don't have a single idea. No wine in the cellar. Your vines. Tool shed level 2 with money. Fame 3, vineyards, vineyards 3. Hmm. Okay, welcome to 100 Days. Tutorial notification. If you already know the game, you could press disable or change your preference in the settings menu. Cards represent the player's activities. Draw a card to start the activity, or represents your daytime. The right click on the, you could rotate the cards to optimize your space. When you're ready, when you're ready, click this button to move to the next day. Okay, so we have, uh, what the heck? All right, we have that, and then we have a weeding. Uh, There we go. Optimize that space. Ooh, inspect. Ooh, wait a minute. I could look at the grapes. Oh, this is surprisingly advanced for grape mechanics. Uh, in the vineyard, you can inspect the ripeness of grapes and progress of the work. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh my god. You mean I could actually straight up invest? Like, I could literally inspect it. Like, inspect it. Like, I could actually look at it. Treatments? Oh, I wasn't expecting... That's not what I meant. Let's just go to the next turn. Ooh, I get harvest. See, because these are like outside grapes, and I was like, what the heck? Okay. Got a big old harvest thing. Get harvest results. Oh, um... Now what do I do? Because I can't... Hmm? Let's just end the day to the next turn? I still can't harvest these. These are results of your harvest. Click to close. Ooh, grapes harvested. Okay. You need to move the grape into a tank. Choose one of the tanks to start and produce wine. I guess I'll go with one of these? Yeah, we'll pick one of... A sign. Okay. We have this. Put that down. Crushing. I don't even know what that would do. New season fall. New grape in the cellar. Chardonnay. Grapes harvested. Trinity. Alright. Go to the next day since I can't do anything with that. That won't let us harvest. We need a press now? You can increase the body and tannin of your wine by pressing process. Move the slider to select how much you want to press the wine. Um. Okay, so that would increase it to that. Let's do that. Let's get like this much. Yeah, that seems good. And then can I harvest yet? Nope. Doesn't seem like I can. It's time for fermentation. Oh, Lord. Mm, still nothing on that. We put all of them in here. Oh, we can't actually do that. So, quantity stored in tank, quantity to sell. Oh, okay. So we can sell all of it. Okay, a sign. Alright, we have another one of these, a fermentation process that's going on now. Each wine has specific traits, results of your choices during winemaking. One of these choices is the yeast used during fermentation. Select the yeast you use. Native yeasts give unique flavors and aromas, but can be unpredictable. Uh, vigorous fermentation, high tolerance to alcohol used for complex wine. Let's pick the native wine. Wait, can we even pick a, a non... Next? Fermentation reduces the sweetness of your wine, increases its tatin. Uh, 
duration increases the reduction of sugars. Use the slider select duration. Use pump over or punch down method to modify the quantity of tannin extracted. Select the type of process. Short, long? I guess we'll go short. No tannin will be extracted from the skins. Quantity. Oh, quality. It shows as good. Alright, so sugar would be like that. Okay. I don't know if that's good or not. Confirm. He doesn't really say whether or not that's good or if it's not good. Okay, and then we just have that. Next turn. Guide, it's time for confrontation. Weather is crucial in winemaking. For example, I could use Cape Down if rain. For a mint, let's go with this one. Can I not pick that one? I guess I can't pick that one. Okay, no tad will be extracted from the skins. One per day. Yeah, let's do one per day. Confirm. Can't do anything with that, and I can't do anything with that. So it's time. Oh, bottle production. Aging, bottling. Chardonnay. Let's see what the aging one looks like. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's a big one. Big's bottling. Okay, so bottling is good. So bottling is the final stage of winemaking process. It's very important to, f to the final finished product. Okay. So, yep, uh-huh, that's lovely. And we get quite a bit back. Expected turns duration cost per bottle. That's a, that's not a lot for per bottle. Okay, that's good. Wine grapes harvested. And we shall put them all in here. Nope, we will assign them all to that steel tank. I don't know how much of that I'm supposed to, like, sell. Let's get, like, what do we need for, like, that one? Let's put that here. The aging. Oh, the aging can't be done. That can't be done. Okay, so this task is blocked. Why is it blo blocked? Is it because... Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. If we don't bottle, if we instead age and use the traditional cast... Okay, wait, no, take that back, use this, and then just age it for that long, confirm, and then we go next, so we're gonna age it first, um, press, Ooh, that's a lot of confirm, let's press it for quite a bit. And do that. Uh, native, I guess. Since we can't, we can't, um... Sweetness will go down for sure. So let's use that. Let's get, like, one per day. So we want low sweetness, high tatin. Oof. Okay. So now we could bottle this one, though. And let's confirm. We can also press... This. Nope. Pressure! Pruning. Okay. So what's this do? Mm. Secondary fermentation that occurs almost all wine and some white wines. Um, sure. Let's do... Native. Confirm. Well, wine tasting! Ooh, that's nice. And another bottling process. Um, here, because why not? And confirm. Okay, so now we have it aged. Steel take is dirty. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Ex wine tasting is on. Didn't I wine taste? Pruning. Sure. Types of prunes suitable for wines with average production. Um. Number of buds? I guess we go that one. Confirm. Prune a little bit at a time. We'll just bottle this one. Confirm. And 
start that, and we can't start any other pruning processes, can we? Um, nope, because of how weird it is. Yep, that's fun. Okay, so we have a wine tasting. Ooh, all right. Very strange for a wine tasting. Let's do a double. Let's get a... Let's actually just get the wine tasting going on first, so we can figure out if our wines are even good. Concrete tank is dirty. How do I clean them? Warehouse. This is a warehouse where you handle all your seals and stock. Features under construction. Okay. Got the warehouse then. No grapes on the vines right now. Buy a terrain. No, winery. Winery where you'll be able to organize the equipment necessary. Features also under construction. Wait. You said the concrete tank is dirty, right? How do I clean it? Cleanliness. How do I clean them? Am I supposed to clean them? It says I got wine tasting is on. Hmm? But I, 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 I uh, is that not what I'm doing? Oh lord. Um, yes, actually let's start with cleaning. Let's do cleaning first. We get that. Let's uh, do some weeding. And we got some suckering! <laughs> Maybe not right now. First let's get rid of the wine tasting. Are we not done yet? Like, actually? Oh, did do it. Okay, sell wine. Um, this one. Sell, choose the price. How much about is that actually? Price is about 12 bucks. So I guess we'll do like 13 bucks quantity. We're gonna do a lot of bottles. Yeah. We're also gonna sell some more wine, because we're just good like that. And then we're gonna, gonna sell some of this, and we're gonna increase this price to like 15 bucks, because why not? And we're gonna sell all the bottles. Besides that, we're gonna wait. Ooh, 100 days. Game of choice, nostalgia, and wine making. Demo ends here for now. You can help us by wishlisting us on Steam, take a short survey, and join us on Discord. Welp, I kind of enjoyed it, but it's it's hard to figure out exactly what you need to do. So, it's a card game based on wine making. It's such a weird puzzle game that I wasn't expecting. Either way, I'm kind of glad that I did the demo for it. It's intriguing and definitely different. It kind of reminds me of the puzzles that you do on like Tinker's Island a bit, except for with wine making. So it has the whole fermentation cleaning process, selling, taste testing, everything that goes on with wine. And you could choose to either just skip right to like the end, or you could age it, ferment it, take out a lot of the bacteria first and things like that. And a lot of it is really good actually. And you just have multiple turns. And it's not like you lose the cards with a lot of the things that you do. It's just that some of it makes the wine better or not. It's just like a management game, essentially. Either way, I guess we're ending this episode here for now. So if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time with more Steam One-Shots and Steam Spring Festival demos. Peace.